every single guitar sounds different. There's no exactly the same guitar sound the same. Why? The woods are different. Everybody from Africa is black. Cedar from Canada. Indian rosewood is brown. It's like human races. The wood of a classical guitar may be global, but when it comes to the hands that craft it, some of the finest can be found here, in the foothills of the Spanish city of Toledo. My name is Manuel Rodriguez. I'm the third generation of this company, Rodriguez Guitars. So my great-grandfather was a flamenco, a flamenco player, and he played for the Tsar of Russia in the end of the 18th century. My grandfather started to make guitars for my great-grandfather. Back then, they were making about 25 guitars per year. Today, they say production has increased to 15,000. 5,000 here in Spain, each one three to four months in the making and sold at up to $20,000. 10,000 in China, each just a month in the making and sold at around $200. 90% of Rodriguez guitars leave Spain, exported to 120 countries. Globally, the main market is South America, Asia, and the U.S. At this moment, we only see Asia growing because young people are trying to play musical instruments. Japan loves flamenco. I mean, you, they're fanatic of playing flamenco. I was there, and sometimes they play better than the really Spaniards were playing flamenco. The classical guitar market is a niche, so the value really lies in the craftsmanship. To stay competitive, Rodriguez is constantly fine-tuning his operations. Our plan is to build all the production of the low-priced guitars from China and move it back to Spain. We move too much to China. And we have a huge building here, and uh, we want to do that in about one year. People will buy more instruments made in Spain than made in China. China, the labor's going up, so it's going to be difficult for them to compete. I think that's our next challenge, to express and to show the really Spanish guitar back in Spain. By the end of 2015, he predicts 45 new jobs and growth of 30%. So whether the Japanese now play it better or not, it'll only ever be real flamenco if it's played on a guitar that's made in Spain.